Well, everyone, we are going to learn the next skill. That's its skill for be careful of present participle. Okay, present participle. Do you know what is present participle? Present participle is verb place in, namely present participle. In English, we say present participle, so don't say verb in, but say present participle look at this a present participle is the ing form of the verb for example talking playing and the structured question on the twofold test a present participle can cause confusion confusion sometimes make us confused because it can be either a part of a verb or an adjective so in present participle in a twofold sometimes uh, it can be a verb, it can be adjective too, so we have to be careful. So how to make it different? It is adjective or it is verb. Uh, look at this example. The man is talking on his friends. This one is function as a, a, a verb because there is be. If a there is be before a present participle, uh, we call them verb. It's mean that verb plus ing. Uh, how can we know it is adjective? Look at this example. The man talking to his friends has a bird. Uh, if there is no here, Adject uh, B, it means that the talking B function as a adjective. But look at this one. We stay focused on subject and verb. For example, the man is a subject, is talking, is a verb. Okay? The man is a subject. What is the verb here? It's known as verb adjective. Ah, has. Has is adjective. Okay. Do you understand? I hope you understand. Yeah. We back to to example. The child is subject. Okay. Playing is a, as a verb of or as the adjective. But we try to find out first this this oh there is a verb is mean that playing will be as the adjective if there is no is here is mean that we put here is okay playing will be a verb but there is is here already has a verb so we don't need a verb now maybe is not totally wrong because already has a verb he we don't need it because child okay was we don't need it too because is it b we don't need it it's been that the answer is a hope you understand yeah well present participle look at this the, uh, the conclusion a present participle is the ing form of the verb the present participle can be part the first part of the verb or an adjective okay there are two part of the verb or or an adjective and a part of the verb when it is accompanied by some of verb b uh, if if it is verb of course there's a b i am standing you are watching they were studying and etc. If there is enough B, it means that that sentence is not a verb but a set adjective. Okay, you know B, yeah, am, is, are, was, were, be, being, be, being, been. Okay, the boy is standing in the corner. This one, number one, as a verb because the subjects there is verb 
okay this one uh, present participle except verb number two the boy stand in the corner this is one subject this one is verb okay b it's mean that this one is a adjective well we continue next okay and prepare piece of paper and a pen we do it again the, the exercise exercise 4 until 10 okay why number one is correct the companies the companies is a subject okay there is no verb here is mean that this one is an adjective there's a subject so we need verb ah, this is the verb one we'll have so totally correct ah this one those travelers okay it's mean that this is the subject those travelers are completing ah, it's verb it is a set verb but there is a verb ag again here so that there are two verb so this sentence is wrong so we have to arise are here so that complain as adjective if you want to make it right so number two is incorrect back to number three the actresses were demonstrating first herself at the boots through the verb okay there is a subject this is a verb this is one verb okay, present participle so i don't find the next the next sentence is verb there is a verb so that the the sentence is correct because there's subject there is a verb number four the pratinesis are given the wellness part of the track ah this one subject there is a verb there's a verb here again it's mean that this sentence is incorrect okay if there is verb here so that we don't put verb here again we don't put here b okay this one is an adjective present possible as an adjective number five the first team winning okay so that if there's no b here in a winning it's mean that next next sentence we need a verb okay it's mean that this sentence as adjective present participle as adjective okay there's a verb is is a word it is mean that number five is correct number six the first the speaker okay this is subject was trying there is a verb Oh, there's a verb again was interrupted it's mean that this sentence is incorrect so they actually we have to arise was so that this one is the adjective the speaker trying so that this is the subject this is the verb number seven the poets okay subject where routine is a verb we check again there is a verb here oh, there is no carrying a set okay there is no verb it's mean that this 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 sentence present possible as a verb because complete subject verb there is no verb again next sentence number eight number seven correct yeah number eight any student desiring okay it's mean that this is the subject wait we try to find out the verb okay there is verb should complete is mean that deciding as the adjective if there is verb here b the sentence is wrong but there is no b here it's mean that this is the, the sentence is correct number eight and nine the advertisements were announced okay where is the verb there is verb here again received it mean that this sentence is wrong we have to erase word so the announcing as a present as a adjective present participle as adjective okay number nine is incorrect number 10 
the spicy flavor in the meal were quite distinct. Okay, there is no B here. It's Minda number 10 as the adjective. And this one is a verb word. It's Minda number 10 is Kawek. Well, guys, uh, we open your pretest experiments. Okay, this is the subject. This is the verb. So we don't need subject and a verb again so this one of course be totally wrong because this use use is a verb represent already verb use again okay uses is a verb this is this is the subject so dcb is wrong the right one is a using general trap because using if we put here using is mean that using a set adjective in present participle experiments using gen therapy represent yeah, subject verb complete sentence things enough for today hopefully you understand see you the next lesson